Hey guys, Dan Williams from Range of Motion Nutrition Coaching, launching January 2019. Have you ever had Uber Eats for breakfast? Maybe some of you have, but chances are you haven't. Ever had Uber Eats for dinner? Probably a lot more of you have. Maybe, maybe takeaway. How often do you go out for takeaway for breakfast and eat something unhealthy? How often do you eat an unhealthy dinner? Probably a lot more often. So why is this the case? Why do we often eat healthy towards the end of the day and yet our nutrition is pretty much well in check at the start of the day? It's because we are fatiguing our willpower muscle. It takes a little bit of willpower, that is the ability to make a decision that leads towards the goal that you're trying to achieve. It's easier to make the correct decision earlier in the day because we haven't had a full day of making decisions at work, making decisions at school, making decisions in our, in our personal and family lives. We haven't had a full day of this fatiguing our willpower muscle. We can actually fatigue our ability to make these decisions. So of course then what happens is towards the end of the day, you've been making choices and decisions all day. You don't wanna make any more decisions. You go for the easy option and the easy option is often the convenient option and the convenient option is often the unhealthy or the less healthy option. So what can we do about this? How can we fix this problem? Well, the first step is actually knowing that it is a problem. Knowing that we tend to eat more, more unhealthy foods, that our eating patterns, habits, and behaviors start to slip towards the end of the day. And sometimes just an awareness of this, just having this brought to your attention is enough to make the change. But maybe that's not enough. So what can we do? Well, we can either make less decisions earlier in the day, which is not always an option. You can't simply refuse to make decisions at work at uni, during your study, in your family life. So maybe that's not the best option. But maybe you can reduce some of the decisions you have to make. Maybe instead of waking up in the morning, opening up your wardrobe and looking at the 20 different options of clothes that you can wear, you could simplify this process by knowing the day before what it is that you're gonna wear by laying out your clothes or simply by having less choices there in the first place and adopting more of a minimalist mindset in multiple areas of your life. Then for breakfast, if you don't have to make a decision about breakfast, there's another decision that you don't have to make. If you can systemize, automate, or delegate roles throughout the day, then you're not fatiguing your willpower as much. But what if we push to the other end of the scale, to the other end of the day? You're now getting towards the end of the day. You know that you're, you're starting to fatigue your willpower muscle. You've been making choices all day, and you just don't have the willpower left to be able to make a healthy choice in the evening. What can we do about that? Well, again, what we tend to do in this situation is make the easy choice, the easy decision, the, the choice or the decision which is not going to take a lot of time, the convenient choice. Well, what if we could make the convenient choice and the healthy choice the same thing? And this is where we start to look at environmental modification. What can we change in the world around us? What can we either pre-prepare or have food that is both fast, convenient, easy, and healthy? Because if we can do that, then the easy choice becomes the healthy choice. And even if our willpower muscle is fatigued, we can still make that correct decision. Now, there's another way we can do this, and that's by forming habits. If you can form a healthy habit, a habit basically runs on autopilot. So there are two main areas of our brain that we can talk about when it comes to your behaviors, both behaviors by, by choice, by making a decision, and behaviors by habit. The first part of your brain is the prefrontal cortex, sitting right here up at the front. It's really big in humans, smaller in other animals. This is the higher order functioning center of your brain. It's where we make decisions. And this is what actually gets fatigued. Now, about 45% of everything we do throughout the day is stored in the front of our brains, or we use the front of our brains. And that's where your willpower muscle is that can get fatigued. Now, there's another part of the brain called the basal ganglia, and this is where your habits live. And about 55% of everything you do, every behavior that you, you employ every day, about 55% of those things live in your basal ganglia. The good news is, that happens on autopilot. You don't have to make a choice because it's habit. This is where your habits live, in the basal ganglia, in that more primitive, older, in our evolutionary past part of your brain. So we can modify our environment to make things easy and make the easy choice also the healthy choice. 
or we can consistently just use a little bit of our willpower muscle, a little bit more of our willpower muscle. Because just like any other muscle, by using that muscle and consistently making the choices that lead you in the direction of your outcome-based goal, lead you in the direction of where you're trying to get to, we strengthen that muscle, our willpower becomes stronger, and eventually you, you start to complete this behavior enough at a high enough frequency and for long enough that you no longer need willpower, you no longer need to make the choice. Because what was sitting in that front, higher order, decision-making part of your brain has now shifted into the basal ganglia, it becomes autopilot, you set cruise control, and these habits happen automatically. So, if you find yourself eating well early in the day, but not later in the day, if you find yourself un unable to make healthy decisions towards the end of the day, then think about building that willpower muscle slowly, about modifying the environment around you, and gradually, over time, starting to build some habits which are gonna make healthy eating, healthy nutrition, and healthy exercise habits full stop an easier thing to do. Guys, I hope this has helped someone. If you would like to discuss this any further, post in comments below. Uh, you can contact me direct. My email is dan at rangeofmotion.net.au. If you're interested in Range of Motion Nutrition Coaching, which is launch, launching on the 1st of January, 2019, the best place to go is rangeofmotion.net.au forward slash nutrition. Head over guys, um, send me an email if I can help with anything, and I hope this has been of some use to you. See you later.